Happy holidays from Health in 2.0. I know, right? <laughs> what can make me more excited about things? <laughs> oh, the holidays. Um, I'm Jessica DeMassa, and that's Matthew Holt. We wish you happy holidays, all the best in the coming uh, new year. So, Matthew, are we decking the Bolty Boy here or what? Uh, well, let me see. Christmas yes. tree. Uh huh. <laughs> Uh, Ooh, with the, the hat and this resistance, I have some peppermint chocolate. <laughs> Just Just healthy, whatever. Over there. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> no, no bar humbug. timer ready there's been so much stuff that happened this week end of year moves gotta love it ah, right, you ready? My ah. tree fell down. <laughs> i'll put my tree back up myself like a okay are you ready? ready to do the two minute thing two minute thing here we go all right we're starting out with walgreens which is like assembling an arsenal of deals here so they're partnered up with fedex for next day prescription delivery barely for medication adherence is this enough to stop amazon and pill pack it's kind of funny because uh, there isn't really a thing yet from Amazon, although it's clear and Chrissy Farrow to sort of what they might do if they encompass telehealth and all this stuff. And it's obvious that the home for chronic care management and med delivery and med management is going to be a battleground. Uh, they're kind of behind. I'm interested in the Verily thing because they're kind of behind. The, the FedEx thing is pretty obvious. Um, the Verily thing, they're kind of behind the, the eight ball on duo. The Sanofi Verily thing is... is um, a bit late compared to Livongo and Gluco and some of the other ones in that space. But, you know, Walgreens has got that delivery system thing and they're putting it together, as is CBS with that. No, and Amazon's going to be doing the same thing. So, yeah, everyone is putting the wagons together. All right, lots of presents under the tree there. So what about Pocket Doc getting their assets acquired? Not the company, but the assets acquired by Change Healthcare. Is this a lump of coal or what? So my guess, I, I, I've tried to sleuth this a bit. I hear it's not a complete lump of coal. I don't think it's a, or a fire sale. Um, I think it's a fairly decent exit from pocket off things. Not quite probably what they were hoping. Change has already been a big player in blockchain. They've been uh, doing blockchain stuff for a while as well, um, but they're obviously a much bigger company owned by, prominent, prominently owned by McKesson and they're going to spin it off at some point next year. So it's probably a nice pickup. I hope the pocket off team does okay. Ted Tanner, Alisa Mackey, the original CEO and some others. Hope they get out more or less alive. I think they will be a little bit on the upside, but uh, Probably not as great as they would like it with them, but probably okay. I right, forget exchanging gifts. People are exchanging jobs like mad here at the end of the Crazy year. Crazy this week. Whoa! Whoa! We've got Rasu going to Atrium Health. We've got Glenn Tolman becoming the chairman now of Livongo and, and appointing a new CEO there. Zane Burke and Jennifer Schneiderman's becoming president. We've got Amy Amaretti going to the FDA. Talk to me about all these career moves. All right. Well, I mean, so let's uh, let's take a note. So Rasu, our friend, going from UPMC Innovation to Atrium. This is Atrium, the one in North Carolina, not Atrius, the one in Boston. Just in case you're confused about which hospital system and which middle group which. Uh, I'm a bit confused. I'm not. It seems to be he's going from a bigger, more prestigious system to a smaller one. I assume he got a bigger, better job. Uh, they probably, uh, Barry Garassi, who's a very modest guy, they probably offered him a, a, a big check, I would think. And uh, maybe he's going to have a bigger, wider impact in sort of real America rather than the, uh, the, the weirdness that is USD Pittsburgh, which is a little bit more like, or you can see, which is a little bit more like Kaiser. So maybe that's the option, and maybe it's not chance to go to the ground there. Um, second in that list, the Livongo guys. Uh, this looks. Livongo! Livongo. Uh, shout out to Livongo. Looks like Glenn is now on Twitter, far too busy tweeting hey, to run the company. Hey. So instead, uh, Zane Burke. Tricks. Sorry? I was promised magic tricks. I asked him you to make two, you disappear. Two he people from no. Chicago wanting me to disappear worries the crap out of me is all I can say. But then I said, he said no. And so I was like, well, can we just saw him in half? Then there's two. <laughs> that sounds even worse than having me disappear. I'm, can we go back to the question? We're yeah. way of watching this. All right. Um, so Livongo, the point is Zane Burke, who was there when uh, Cerner had its huge growth spurt. And, you know, Zane presumably wants to make that kind of growth spurt, that growth spurt. They're also advertising right now for PR people who've been through an IPO. 
So it looks to me like they're uh, gearing up to actually go that route rather than raise more private private capital. Jenny Schneider, chief medical officer and uh, all round good person, got a promotion to president as well. And we'll see what Glenn does. But he, he'll, he, knowing Glenn, he'll keep his nose in there and pay attention. But Zane, obviously he's run a much, much bigger company than Longo, and we'll see that. And finally, Amy Abernathy, yeah, there was some flack about online that I was out there defending her about uh, uh, industry people going back to the FDA, but there's a lot that needs to change in the way we think about clinical trials and data collection and, and uh, drug, drug discovery and drug approvals. And Amy is such a great person. Um, now she's made a <clears throat> packet, I assume, with that uh, flat iron. She doesn't really need the money anymore, so she's going to go into public service. This to me is one of the good things. Uh, a good person with a great academic background going into public service in the FDA. The FDA has been one of the very few agencies that have a clear ideological lead from uh, Scott Gottlieb. You might not like him, but you know where he stands. I don't think it's just sort of one of these toady agencies to, uh, the, the, to either the Trump administration's general lunacy or to the industry industries they kowtow to, like the EPA or consumer finance. So I'm, I'm pretty hopeful. So uh, I think those this are all- actually, I looked it up because I was like, what is this job she- God, and it's actually the highest job in the FDA that's not a political appointment. So yeah, no, no, she's, kill gonna, it. she's gonna be important. She's gonna be important. And she already was important. Um, you know, no, this is the woman who gave up a tenured professorship at Duke University in order to join a, a risky startup and probably has made a rather good move. So, so cool. So impressive. I, I happen to like Amy. I'm you know, we'll be holding her feet to the fire or making sure she does what she should be doing there. But I think I think it's good prospects. Killer role model for all women in healthcare. I love her. <laughs> all right, Matthew. So have you been a good boy this year? Are you going to get all the presents that you wanted under the tree? <laughs> uh, if I get anything other, lump, anything other than a lump of coal, it's usually a, a, an upgrade for me. Um, I do have two well, kids who I need to go buy presents for. send a lump of coal virtually and digitally to Matthew Holt, you should do so. And you should do so on Twitter so we can all see what you got him. So tweet at Bolty Boy to do such a thing. And if you want to tweet loving gifts and presents to me, I'm at Jess DeMassa. You can follow well, along with us. I'll be flooding in, Jess. Your, your yeah, I'm so Amazon sure. I'm so brilliant. sure. I'm like, <laughs> please. I'll think of someone to send you soon, I'm sure. Yeah, right. I'm going to get like, no. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? I was going to say that if you wanted to follow along with us, you can do so on YouTube. So just search for Health in 2.0 and hit subscribe so you never miss an episode. It's the gift that keeps on giving all year long. All year long. All right. And um, Jess, are we doing another one this year or is this it? Do we do I don't know. I think we should do one more. Okay, we should well, do like a year-end wrap-up. All right. Well, we'll try and do a year. Oh, my God. That's going to be hard work. We'll try and do a year-end wrap-up next week then. Your end wrap up next week. Where are you going to so be? If you have questions for us, let make sure that you send them in. We can also take. We'll also make predictions about next year. You can do that. I'm not doing that anymore. All right. Oh my God! Uh, we should have people tweet. Oh, we should have people tweet your New Year's resolution. If you want Bolty Boy to participate in a New Year's resolution of your choosing, we're holding a contest. That's right, people. A contest. Just tweet your resolution for Matthew to me at Jess Tomasa. We will pick a winner and announce next week on Health in 2.0. The longer the Health 2.0 2.0 episodes go on, the worse it gets for me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that makes you happy, Jess. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Jessica. Bye, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great holiday. <laughs>